I'm trying to understand the the relation of race to this because I'm trying to think where because when you're black, people yeah. don't expect that you can do shit. Mm. That's where race comes from. Sometimes mm. your own people. Mm. So you're constantly, even when you're rich and black, having to prove yourself. Because mm. when you're black, you have to understand. <laughs> now I'm becoming really Southern. Baby, you have to understand people think the worst things about us, the mm. worst things. And some people don't even believe we even fit to walk this planet. Mm. So you have to bring, you have to be beyond the best to, you know, to, to show what you can deliver in this life. What does it look like for someone to show to to show that sentiment to you like where did you or how did you get that message i picked it up in two ways um i don't remember any specific incident where well i do remember some specifics but i don't want to get into all that um number one when people when you shit when you tell your family your dreams and they push they push on you like you know when and they they really basically tell you, you know, you're delusional or whatever. Mm. And then what I, I've also seen this sort of eagerness to be very critical and denigrate Black people who have made tremendous contributions. So in any field, whether it's in entertainment, medicine, or whatever, where the rest of the world can be hypercritical of them and their achievement and it just has this air to it that deep down, you don't believe, I mean, we have always been painted as being stupid, right? Uh, by racist white people. That was a motivation coming out since, since slavery. And so it's like a black person did that. I don't believe that a quote unquote N word did that because they're not smart enough to do something like that. And like I said, all of these things, I mean, the reason it's tough to see uh, maybe for other people is because it's so interwoven. And where you may, you know, a person may be critical of me, let's say, let's say this show goes well, whatever. And then people are critical of me, like, oh, those are just detractors. But in some way, there's a way of saying things and phrasing it and posing it where you know they're saying as because he's Black, he's less deserving. Or because I can't believe that a Black person, you know, I mean, I'll be quite honest with you. When I was watching this footage, I felt a sense of pride in myself and also for black people, because if you look at the logistics of this, this is a white man and a black man debating. And I'm bringing just as much intelligence, sensitivity and wholeness to this conversation as you are. You and your advantages as being a white person are not eclipsing me mm -hmm. at all. When I, when I look at this footage, just even being detached and trying to look at it as a viewer. Yeah. And I felt a sense of pride in that. I said, I wonder, will there be black people and say, look at this black guy. Look at this guy, you know, debating this white boy and bringing all his, the fullness of himself to the table mm -hmm. not, and not letting his light diminish because I'm trying to, you know, defer to your whiteness and white is right. And if it comes from your mouth, it's cool. You know, that it's gospel. No, you know, and where one person, maybe you, let's say in the conscious of the show, We'll look at that and say, well, people, like I said, they're just being detractors, haters, et cetera. And I'm like, no, what they're insinuating is that by being by, they're surprised I'm capable because I'm black. Mm -hmm. And that's rude. To watch the rest of that episode, go ahead and click the video below me. To see a different compelling Healing Race episode, you can click the video below me. We look forward to seeing you in the next video.